Okay, today we're going to tie, it's a green silk shrimp. Um, and it's actually, I suppose it's in the same family as a band special. Um, but probably not as well known. Um, and it's a fly from, it was tied by Lawrence Cunningham uh, from the River Fawn. Uh, in the northwest of Ireland, um, and really, yeah, it follows the traditional uh, Irish shrimp fly uh, style of tying, but it's got a couple of differences. Um, particularly, I suppose, from the band special. The rear of the body is rather than sort of a dubbed or a, um, a floss body, as you would have in the glinty shrimp. Uh, it's got a green uh, floss body, and then the, the key thing that really is different is the middle hackle. Uh, and this one has actually got a dual or a double hackle, uh, first yellow and then orange on top of it. So I suppose that's what makes it uh, a wee bit different. Um, and it is a, a good fly, particularly for sort of later in the year. Um, and sometimes when the fish have seen maybe a standard uh, band special or clean tea shrimp, uh, it can just uh, show up that wee bit better and, and, and make the difference. Uh, the rest of it's fairly similar to band special. You've got a uh, black uh, floss front body and then your uh, badger, uh, but as I said, it's a very good fly, and um, yeah, we'll get ready to uh, to tie it. What we're going to be using today is a mustad. Um, I'll just show you here. Um, hopefully, you can see that okay. Um, there's a number of different um, uh, new double hooks on the market. Um, Partridge have brought out a Patriot. Uh, double hook and uh, so also fully male have a have a magni or magni uh, double uh, but these are the mustad ones uh, which I find good I like the profile of them um, so yeah the first um, thing we're going to do is to tie in a tag um, and we're just going to use gold oval uh, and this one is uni uh, and as with a lot of Irish shrimp flies the tag is important because um, it helps to uh, display the um, uh, the tail. So what we're going to do is just tie in the thread uh, and tie it in at the midpoint where you tie in the hackle and that's just a good sort of guide for yourself. Uh, work our way down to the back of the hook uh, and then we get the the oval tensile and just tie it in and just wrap it down, down the hook um, a little bit and then come back up again and you want to actually stop just about level with the hook points um, as I said before if you tie it any further down um, it'll actually angle the the tail of the fly down so always a good a good sort of guide level with the hook points um, so we get our tinsel and we just wrap it up uh, towards that the hook points and we just tie that off and again just tie it off underneath the underneath the hook to keep everything nice and neat um, so what we want to do next is um, this is optional but I always like to put a little bit of um, bling into the tail um, and because this is a green silk shrimp I'm using uh, chartreuse uh, crystal hair um, and that's actually micro crystal hair, which is a wee bit finer than the, than the standard. Um, so what we want to do is just use the lift and lock method. So again, just bring the material in underneath the hook, uh, pull it forward, and the weight of the bobbin actually um, uh, the weight of the bobbin locks it in. And then just using two fingers, just bring that back. Okay. So there we go. That's the um, the tail. And then the next thing. That we want to tie in is the teal feather, and this is golden pheasant. Um, golden pheasant is really what one of the things that really makes um, Irish shrimp flies. It's one of the sort of key ingredients. Um, so I've already prepared this um, hackle, um, and we're going to tie it in now. So tie it in by the stalk, 
I just had an at the side. And then as we, you would do with a, um, a, another feather, any other feather, I like to double it back. And uh, that just helps to, uh, uh, when you're tying it in. So stroke those feathers back gently, and then we're ready to tie in. And we'll just cut off that stock there. And then using our hackle pliers, um, this one's uh, So say, as with any other feather, you're just doubling it back and winding it. Um, but golden pheasant is a little bit trickier than, than other feathers. Um, it tends to have a, a bit of a mind of its own. Um, what I use is just a, a, a dubbing needle with a bent, uh, a bent needle. And it just helps to, uh, just be useful to stroke those feathers back. Uh, and you can do this as you go or you can wait until the end and sort of fix them out but I like to sort of do it as I go along um, so just yeah, force those back as you would with a, a normal hackle things with the golden pheasant um, they wouldn't be quite as strong as maybe other types of hackle so it is important just to, um, to tie that down quite securely but what we're also going to do is we're going to go back on ourselves and tie some tying thread um, over the uh, over the golden pheasant that just helps it make them a little bit stronger um, be a bit more robust of a fly. Honestly, it's just a wee bit more difficult to, uh, to tie with than, than normal other types of hackle. So, as I say, I will just flatten that thread because it makes it lie a bit better. Um, and just go back on our shells gently to begin with down to your um, to where your tag was and that's why it's important to have that tag because that will help to, to flay them fray them out a little bit okay okay so that's the that's the tail and then now we want to tie in the body and First of all, I want to pin a rib, and again, it's a gold rib. And as with the rear hackle, I generally tie that in underneath. Okay. And then we go back up to the, the center point, and then the the body in this, this is where it gets its name, it's um, green, green silk shrimp. Um, traditional floss that would have been used is um, purcells, um, but as you can see here, it's sort of plaited uh, with the different strands, which um, I don't uh, like as much as sort of a, a sort of single strand. Um, so for that reason, what I normally use is um, Danvils, um, which I think just gives a, a nicer, it's nicer to work with, but also gives a nice sheen to it. Um, so we'll take some of that. <coughs> and just flatten it out a little bit with your, with your fingers. And then again, lift and lock. Um, we're going to do a double run. So we're going to start at the middle, work back, and then come back to the front again. Uh, and it is important for this fly as well, because it is a, a lighter type of floss, that you do use a, a, a lighter tying thread. If you use black, for instance, 
when the fly gets wet, um, it would dull down the, uh, the colour of it. Um, but hopefully you can see there's a nice sheen to that floss, um, which as I say is where it gets its name, the name of the fly from. I just want to tie in the rib. slightly different about this fly than, than uh, most Irish uh, shrimp flies is that it's got a double middle hackle. So the first one is uh, it's a yellow um, hackle um, 